This is the first environmental crime that's been successfully prosecuted and convicted in a Fijian court. So this is most definitely a president and one that conservationists and I'm sure our government environmental authorities are very happy about because it means that they can continue to now prosecute uh, people who breach our Environmental Management Act. So tell us a little bit about what this company had intended to build. Well, the resort it was being uh, put together by Free Soul Limited, a corporation with very close links to China and had elaborate plans for a multi-million dollar property on the island of Malolo. Malolo is in the Mamanuda groups, one of Fiji's tourism hotspots and most definitely a, chew, a, a jewel rather in Fiji's tourism crown. Um, this particular case has been controversial from the start. It was brought to light uh, through the efforts of surfers, Australian surfers, if I'm not mistaken, who joined uh, forces with local indigenous landowners who realized that a lot of the development works being conducted by Free Soul Limited was on the marine environment in the area. And this is something that the local travel industry holds very dearly, given that our travel industry depends on our pristine and beautiful environment and also for the life livelihoods of our communities. So it was a New Zealand media organization who published stories about the struggles that the landowners and the surfer uh, property owners uh, had, which brought things to light. It's been filled with a lot of controversy because there was criminal intimidation. Um, there was some difficulty getting the government bureaucracy to work to their favor. But I think it's an old well that ends well situation now, Beverly. Yeah. It has also, Lithe, been alleged that they've done a lot of damage to those very precious reefs and that pristine environmental area. Will they be required to clean this up? They most definitely will. The sentence handed down today for $1 million is for Free Soul Limited to provide this to Fiji's Department of Environment, who are expected to then supervise the rehabilitation works that will take place on Malolo Island. The Department of Environment had submitted in the prosecution's case that the damage uh, uh, done by Free Soul Limited on the local reef ecosystem, as well as kilometers of mangrove forest is to the value of Fijian 500,000 or thereabouts. And so this $1 million is expected to do some of the rehabilitation work that the government thinks is necessary. However, the government did say that the damage done by Free Soul Limited cannot be reversed. What does this tell us about the future of these kind of developments and the relationship between the Fijian government and authorities and Chinese developers? Well, I think this case has shown what public pressure and what ordinary people can do when they care about the environment. Because while the Environmental Management Act of Fiji has been around for over 15 years or so, it hasn't really had any teeth. But this president, the judgment as well as the sentencing means that Fijian authorities can now prosecute quite successfully uh, those who do permanent damage to the environment of Fiji. And so what this means is that they will be very detailed scrutiny on those development organizations or, or companies rather who would like to build tourist uh, ventures in Fiji. And, and how does the local community that fought so hard feel about this outcome? Very happy, Beverly. Uh, they have been fighting for this particular outcome for a while. Now, bear in mind that this is only the criminal case. This does open up avenues for local landowners on Malolo, as well as maybe other landowners of precious Fijian resources, to consider civil suit against those property developers who make permanent damage on Fiji's uh, beautiful environment. Yeah, and it should also be said that many of uh, the journalists, including yourself, faced a lot of intimidation and intense pressure during the, the reporting of this case. That's right. There's been a lot of controversy around it. Uh, just trying to get this story out into the public arena as journalists has been difficult. Um, we had our New Zealand colleagues come in here and get uh, followed by, you know, some some people closely connected to Free Soul Limited. They were taken away and arrested and then kept overnight without charge. And in fact, if it wasn't for the Prime Minister uh, saying in a public in a Parliament session that he intends to protect freedom 
freedom of expression and freedom of the media and therefore would see to the release of these New Zealand journalists, things might not have gone the way it has. Uh, local journalists uh, from all across the Fijian media who have tried to uncover the details of this environmental crime have themselves been chased from the island. Um, those of us who tried to cover the case of the New Zealanders being arrested without cause have been uh, harassed as well. So uh, to see uh, this happen the way it has, it's, it's almost like a David and Goliath situation, really. Yeah, so such an important outcome and uh, excellent reporting as well. Thanks for chatting to us, Letha. Menaka.